What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the Android server on my good buddy Malacrux's account. In this video we are going to be talking about and also testing out the new hero Mahatma. Now honestly I believe she's going to be an absolute beast. So let's go ahead talk about her, read her skill. So we got Ice Boulder. Throws an Icy Boulder forward dealing at 300% attack damage and removing 18 energy from all enemy targets in its path which is crazy. All also removes heroes conditions which is the most important part we'll get to that after so we got this hero is immune to stun and fear has plus hundred percent attack speed and also takes 75 percent less damage and has fast energy recovery all right so one thing you'll notice is that she removes 18 energy from all heroes in its path. So if you're the more heroes she's hitting, the better, right? Because the more energy she is removing also removes heroes' conditions. Now, what that means exactly, we actually haven't had a hero like Mahatma, not in this, not not quite as powerful, and it can remove so many conditions at once, is what I'm saying. We do have Walla Walla, but Walla Walla is a little bit different. That's on the offensive side, right? Walla Walla not only heals your heroes, but removes the negative debuffs on your heroes. Well, this hero is actually like the complete opposite. It removes all of the positive effects on whatever it's fighting, right? So let's say you're fighting an opponent team of 10 heroes and the opponent team has a Cupid buff, a Pumpkin Duke buff, a Druid buff, whatever all buffs, a Walla Walla buff, a Theme buff, a Michael buff, all the buffs in the game. If this hero hits that hero, all those buffs are removed instantly. What? If I'm reading this, that's going to be absolutely insane, is it not? So where this hero is really going to shine is game modes that really have the most heroes, like Labyrinth, that's going to be absolutely insane. The new game mode, I believe, what is it called? Forgotten Trail, going to be crazy good in that. Also going to shine in Arid Runes if anybody runs that anymore. So, I mean, this hero has a ton of potential. It's going to be really good in even Lost Battlefield as well, in my opinion, especially if you can remove all those buffs. All right, so enough talking about the hero. Let's go ahead and get into battle, test out some damage, and see what she's made of. I got Expert Dungeon 810. That's just kind of where I like to test out all heroes for damage because there's all these bosses in the middle and um, you can do a max amount of damage, right? Now, let me go ahead and actually remove, one second, boys. Let me remove this. That way I'm not in the way anymore. Let's go ahead and throw my hot mod down here. I, I still don't understand exactly how the new wardens work. I mean, I kind of understand they have a little energy bar above my hot mod right there. And when they fill up, the warden comes out and does a proc. Um, I, I, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't done a lot of uh, checking into the new warden system yet to understand exactly how that works. So let's see what my hot mod does for damage right here. I'm expecting to see some big boy props. Come on. Get towards the middle. All right, here we go. Don't die in one cell. Oh, my gosh. She's about to die so freaking fast. We aggroed so many. No? All right. Mahatma's going to beast up with that 75% reduced damage. I guess she can't die to these. Her procs are just so freaking weak, though. I mean, she's hitting for what? 600,000, I believe, is the most damage I've seen so far. Now, again, this uh, Mahatma does have stone skin and also dodge traits, so it's not stacked for damage in any way. And in my personal opinion, I think that's the smartest way to go is going to be some sort of defense on Mahatma because really what you want her for is removing all of the buffs that are on the opponent's heroes and also removing their energy, right? So you'll see when she starts attacking these guys constantly, keeping them low on energy, reducing the, or on the Spirit Mage anyway, whenever it's hitting. It's about to one-shot that Spirit Mage, actually. Whoops, see you later. All right, man, that is crazy. All right, so let's see if, let's should we do it again? I really didn't see any big crits. Let's get back in here and do this one more quick time. I'm not going to take too much time on it. Hopefully, uh, let's throw a Walla Walla in the back, too, see if we can bring up some extra damage here. What do we got coming down? Her effect is just so beast, man. That free stun's awesome. About to one-shot that spirit mage. Not bad. What do we got going down here in the middle? Come on, show me some big boy procs, Mahatma. What do you got? Oh, my gosh. Come on, Grandma. Stop taking your freaking time and go to the middle. All right, here we go. That'd be crazy if she removed um, Atlanticor's buff. That'd be too crazy. That is not going to happen, though. All right, what do we got? Give me some big boy Proxima Hup Mob. We got two, 450,000 damage, 500,000 damage. 
So, yeah, I mean, the crits really aren't going to go any higher than this, I don't think. I think it's going to stick right around 300 to 500,000 damage, somewhere around in there, unless you just get some kind of crazy RNG prop. So, I mean, you guys get the point of Mahatma's damage. I suppose we could go ahead and run her against some uh, some actual players as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and search and find somebody and smash them up with her. All right, so what do we got here? We got... A bunch of junk heroes for defense. And let's see. Let's see if Mahatma can just run right through them. I'm pretty sure she can. Right through the middle. Co Oops. Attacks everything at once. Lowers the energy. Dovekeeper does have full energy. Pumpkin Duke has some energy. Let's see if we can remove all that Pumpkin Duke energy. Oh, actually, Pumpkin Duke doesn't have any energy anymore already. Oh, okay, Mahatma. Stepping your game up. Taking on Dovekeeper Prox. That's a double evolved Dovekeeper, too. Okay, reducing damage big boy style. I like that. Hanging out with Gunslinger. Gunslinger ain't a big deal. Again, uh, Mahatma does have fast energy recovery, so Gunslinger's choppers, as you can see right there, don't even really affect her. Let's keep going. What do we got here? We got Michael. We got a Nick in there. We got Anubis with a Dreddrake. Let's go ahead and toss down Mahatma back here in the back. Mahatma's coming on, removing some energy from Dreddrake or what? That is nice because Dreddrake is fast energy recover as well. And it does. Is Dreddrake able to get a proc off? I think Dreddrake might have got one proc off there. I couldn't exactly tell. But yeah, Mahatma's a beast, boys. She's going to be so get one shot by that Michael one time. But yeah, you guys get the point. We don't really need to do any more testing with Mahatma. She's not going to be used for damage, not near as much as her other two abilities, which is 18 energy from all heroes that, that are in its path which is just crazy and also removing those conditions now one thing um to remember is you're going to want to put my hair let me remove, put this up you're going to want to put mahatma in the back right you're not going to want her tanking up front she does reduce damage but you're going to want to keep her alive at all times so any game mode you run you're going to want to put her in the very back let her do her due diligence and she will own up pretty much anything anyway guys hope y'all enjoyed the video i am out of here for now peace out fellas